shine, mothers and brothers. Let it grow and let it flow. Actually, it's not morning. It's Saturday night. I'm getting ready to go out with my buddy Craig and Lisa and some other friend who I haven't met. Anyways, <clears throat> going to a, to a place that's known for its burgers and there's a band playing, so that'll be my excitement for the week. It's never too late to rise and shine. <laughs> Even though I usually do that in the mornings and you haven't seen a rise and shine in probably a month. Never too late to rise and shine, never. Even at nighttime, it's okay to rise and shine. Here's a, just a little thought that I had, and I'm just gonna talk about this until I get to about three quarters of my destination, then I have to pop the GPS on and get my exact directions because I don't quite remember exactly how to get to this joint. So, Saturday night traffic going on here, let's see. Here's the deal. Do not seek to get into a relationship if you're not in a relationship. These days, everybody swipes left and right and they're looking and, you know, whatever. But here's the deal. When you've been single for a while or unattached for a while, and I'm talking to the unattached men and women out here. When you've been unattached for a while, you start to develop mental clarity, clarity of purpose, clarity of thought, and you have no influence. So it's almost like when you're fasting, which is such an interesting analogy, fasting and relationship fasting. Sometimes the relationship fasting is on purpose. Sometimes you go through dry spells, but learn from the dry spells. Don't like for me, honestly, this has been like the driest time of my life, but I will tell you, and I was in a relationship last about four years ago, and it's been that long. And I've had dates and times, times out with women, but no hardcore, steady girlfriend. Divorced now for, how was it, 13, 14 years? Yeah. So here's the deal when it comes to fat relationship fasting. Like regular fasting, day one is so hard. It's like when you first get divorced, man, you just, you're dangerous. Men and women, you know what I'm talking about too. You're dangerous. God help anybody who meets you right after, right after a divorce. God help, God help you if you're dating someone who is fresh out of a relationship. You are their transition person. Argue with me all you want. It's real. Nobody wants to be a transition person and no one intends anyone to be a transition person. But we feel like we need people to like bridge to the next person because we're not used to being alone. We're not used to that side of the bed being empty. We're not used to eating alone or going to movies alone or not having someone to text obsessively with. So check this out. When I do when I do my fasts, like and I I do water fasts, anywhere from three to five days. So good for you. So good. It's like hitting the reset button, man. It's like restarting your computer. That's what it's like. The first day it's so hard. Honestly. By the end of the first day, you want to gnaw somebody's arm off. You get hungry, just like a whiff of food just blowing by you while you're driving or from a restaurant will drive you crazy. A commercial on TV will drive you nuts. You get hungry. You get irrational. By the second day, that kind of calms down. By the end of the second day, you're not hungry. Third day, zero hunger. By the end of the third day, or by the third day, you start thinking to yourself, God, I could go a fourth day or a fifth day. That's how it works. And I've done five-day fasts before to reset the body. What's interesting is I find myself 
for instance, when I eat dinner, when I get done eating, I want something sweet. When I get done eating lunch, I want something sweet. So in the afternoon, I was like gobbling down like candy bars at like three o'clock in the afternoon and then getting a sugar crash. You know, it's crazy. But when you fast, you eliminate cravings and hunger for stuff. Because when you're fasting, you'll eat five Big Macs, even though during your normal existence you won't eat a Big Mac. You are so tempted to eat shit just to fill your stomach, and then you feel like crap after anyways. But here's the deal. If you're in a relationship, the relationship ends. If you're divorced, marriage ends. You will... I don't want to say eat anything. <laughs> I don't mean to... I don't want to go down that road. But you will consume anybody, it seems like. And you'll consume a lot of them. So I would say resist the temptation. Because there's a lot of people who are needy out there. Just... And you need to find out who they are. And don't, be con don't confuse people who need you with people who want you. Got that? So, in a, when you are relationship fasting, a great place to be is end of the second day where you're no longer hungry. Third day, food is zero issue. So, in a relationship, what would be the analogy in a relationship? You're not desiring anybody. You don't mind spending time with people, but there's not this obsession or compulsion with having to be with somebody or fill the bed. I remember one time telling somebody when I went through a, my compulsive post-marriage thing. You know, I'm pulling the blonde hair girl's hair out of my hairbrush so the brown hair girl doesn't see it. And I'm checking doorknobs for underwear and signs of, you know, somebody leaving their earrings on the nightstand or their lipstick on the vanity in the bathroom, that type of thing. And man, that takes a lot of work. That's a lot of work. And I hated that. I hated that kind of sneaky kind of thing, even though even though there was no need to sneak, there was no, you know, I wasn't being faithful or unfaithful to anybody. It was just post-marriage, a post-marriage vacuum, an emptiness that I hated, that I wanted to have filled. So I want you to operate. Think about this. Think about being in third day fasting mode when it comes to a relationship where nothing is pulling you. You're not craving sweets. You're not craving five Big Macs where you would rather just taste something of quality at the end of your fast as opposed to quantity. There's no, like you think you're kind of making up for lost time, you're not. So this is what I want you to do. And I've thought about this in my lifetime as well. Currently, I have zero needs, zero needs. I love women, I would love a nice woman in my lifetime. I am in no hurry to fill this seat right here with a female. And the reason is, I have clarity. And it feels friggin' fantastic to not be pulled in the direction by the whiff of a relationship. The smell, the scent of a woman. It feels great. And I'm not anti-woman. I'm. I love women, and I can't wait to settle down again. But let me share this with you. I'm cruising right now. I feel great. I feel so good. I'm healthy, physically, mentally, heart-wise, emotions. I can offer a whole person, not a broken person. I've perfected my wholeness. Nobody's pulling me. As I see people that are interested in me, 
I have so much clarity in my life right now that I know, I can recognize I am a, a breaking detector. Does that make any sense? I know if a woman is going to slow me down right away. Right away. If a woman can't help me speed up my life and enhance my life, eh, it's a big no. It's a big, giant no. So only bring somebody on board with you as your co-pilot who is going to enhance your speed, put gas in your tank, rev you up, give you some of that red line fever, and I'm not talking about hormones either. That's a beautiful thing. Once you've overcome the hunger pains, and in relationships I'll call them the hormone pains, once you've overcome that stuff, you are so well on your way to being healthy again. And you can pursue your goals alongside of pursuing a relationship. I know so many people, they got business ideas, they're excited, they're working out, they meet somebody, all of that shit just drops right off, right away. Don't let that happen. Don't let it happen. Does that make sense to you? As I usually say, it'll make sense to somebody there. So you have a great day or night, whenever you're listening to this. And if it, if this spoke to you in any way, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Just bang that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. And forward the video to someone who you think would appreciate it, benefit from it. And enjoy your life. It's short. So enjoy it. Do it right. I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you so much.